Well, hello, my name is Christopher Scott, and I serve as the assistant pastor uh, of small groups at a church in Exeter, California called Rocky Hill Community Church. And I want to shoot this video to help some of, of you who are looking at Planning Center um, as a possible resource that might want to help you uh, manage your small groups and use software to keep track of your leaders and everything that goes on. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how Planning Center reporting works. Each week we have our staff um, leadership staff meeting for our church. Uh, so I go ahead and I go into Planning Center each Tuesday morning and I print off a report showing our different groups. And I just want to simply show you how I do that and what the uh, features that Planning Center has and what they offer you if it's something that you're interested in using. Um, I don't have any affiliation with Planning Center, just trying to be a helpful resource to those of you uh, who are looking at this software. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my groups feature in Planning Center. This is the back end of the groups. I'll show you the front end here. So this is how it looks. Let me get one last step. This is how it looks for people that are interested in groups um, as from the public. And so the back end, I come here to Planning Center Groups, look at it, and all you have to do really is you can go to Report. And then this shows you a simplified report of your groups. So we have 16 active life groups. Uh, at Rocky Hill Community Church, about 11 people is the average group size, 153 unique members, and that's important because uh, these are unique people that are, um, maybe someone, for example, me, I lead three different groups, but I'm only counted once in this uh, system here. Uh, this is from our church directory, which we have a thousand people in our directory, uh, but we usually run about 225 to 275 on a Sunday. Um, for weekend services. So we kind of just put everybody in our directory, even if they're a guest, that's why it's pretty low. And then 90 day turnover, I'm not as familiar with this. Um, joined and left, you know, I'm not quite sure how that all works. That seems kind of high for us, but anyways. Um, so these are the stats that shows. Uh, you have 23 leaders, 154 members, um, male and females here. I don't know why this doesn't add up to 153, but that's okay, whatever. And then stats over time, this is how I keep our stats. I just keep a yearly running of stats, and then I do a sum. I wanna see each week, pretty much, is how it works. Each week, it'll tell me how many people were in groups. So for the week of 1-9, uh, we've got about 55 people attended groups. First week of May, looks like we had 80 people attending groups, things like that, and it'll show it for you. And then group membership, um, the average group membership here is what shows there. I like to show it as a sum. So this shows starting last year, we are slowly growing from 123 and slowly growing over time, as you can see here. And then number of groups, uh, we had 12 at the beginning of 2017. And as you can see, we've grown little bit by little bit. And then here it shows you your group size. Of course, you know, the women's life group is the biggest, which is awesome. Um, 19, they kind of have a lot of fluctuation. Then we have another one. So this kind of shows you it. And then usually the men's groups are usually always smaller, as you can see. Um, 11, 7. And then we have another men's group. How big did that one? This one's gotten pretty, we're both at 11, I guess. But So that is uh, how to use Planning Center for reports and the basic reports that it shows you. Um, you can filter them based on where people live, how often they meet, and all that, if you want to filter that for your report. And then usually what I do is I print it every week and I attach it to my staff report, which is pretty easy. So as long as you've set it up on that past screen over here, you just click print right there. And then you go to groups here and go down, kind of make sure I usually have to rechange it. Um, And then you just simply hit print and it'll pop up and you can print it from here. So that's a brief video on how to use planning center groups to do reporting um, within the planning center 
software uh, groups feature. So I hope this video was helpful. Uh, you're welcome to leave a comment or question in the comments below. Uh, I'd be glad to answer them for you. I am by no means an expert, but I am someone who uses the software every day um, to manage our groups and uh, support leaders and take attendance. Hope this was helpful for you. Hope to talk to you again soon in another video.